Good morning to my friends and family. They're definitely going to be the only people that are watching this vlog. <laughs> but uh, we are going on a run today. Uh, let me just figure this one out. I bought some new vitamin C serum from The Ordinary because I've only been using 3.5%. Um, and this one's 10%. It's not even The Ordinary, it's CeraVe. Uh, this one's 10%. So I want to see what it's like. How? How do I? Do I screw you? Oh, you take that off. Um, we're going to go on a run to the foothills of Mount Wellington, which will be really nice. Jack did this run um, in the mountain race that was on recently. Uh, and it looks really cool. I was going to, but when we were walking down Mount Wellington, um, like a week before that, I fell and sprained my ankle, so I couldn't run. Um, so I just sat in the village and it was really fun. But we're going to go on a run. It's going to be a chill one. I say it's going to be a chill one. It's going to be bloody hard because I'm not a very fast runner. Um, but it's going to be a chill one compared to other people's runs, shall we say. A very slow and leisurely pace. But it should be good. It should be good fun. Um, the weather's really nice today, actually. It's like blue skies. So it's the perfect day to go for one. And we'll show you around the mountain and show you the route. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I've had some toast for breakfast and I feel like I need to eat something else. Let's have a look. Don't forget sun cream. It's not even, what, how, what's the temperature today? Like 15 degrees? No, it's like 18 I think. Oh, like 18 degrees. But we are in Tasmania so we should still probably wear sun cream. I, was, I turned the camera on to show you the mountain and then I put sun cream on my fingers so you're gonna have to wait for one second. Okay, give my clan, show you the mountain. This is where we're running today. That's it right up there. We're obviously not running up there but there's some foothills and lots of different trails all that run on like the lower parts that we're gonna do. So it's gone be fun. I'm excited. There's no pressure. We're just gonna have a great time and go for a lovely run. And well, run, walk, hike, whatever. It's true running, so who cares? Who cares? And I'll do a fit check for ya. Let's sit you on here. Well, we got some good lights. Right. Trusty hat, of course. I've also got my sunglasses, which I don't have right now. But tea, Lululemon, sports bra, not face. These are the cutest shorts in the entire world. They're from Asics. And they've got like little pockets the whole way around. And then a zippy pocket somewhere, I think. Yes, there's a zippy pocket right at the back. And it comes with a teeny tiny carabiner as well, look. How cute is that? And then, so I do have a Salomon running vest. I've left it in Melbourne. Um, but I was really struggling with it, especially in this heat, because uh, it's, it just feels quite difficult to run with like an extra vest and in the heat. Um, so Jack bought me this for my birthday. It's just like a little running belt with a little hard shell bottle in. And it's not a long one that we're going on. It's probably going to be nine, ten kilometres. Um, but I have got my inhaler because I'm a wheezy gal. A teeny weeny little bit of sunscreen just in case. And then it's a trail run so it's going to take a couple of hours. Um, these are my favourite shoes. Um, they're really good, they're watermelon flavour. And then I've got one of the Goo um, gels. I really like these, they taste a lot better than some of the others that I've tried these in the Martin gels, I really like. So that's what's going in there. I got my watch on, a Garmin, which I really like, although I wouldn't, it's the Phoenix 7 Sapphire Solar. And I do really like it. I had a foreigner before this and I do really like this, but the solar is a bit rubbish if I'm honest. It doesn't really charge it at all. I, but I love the watch. So that's what we're thinking. My shoes, I've left my shoes. I'll have to do those in a second because I've not actually got them on, but you can see my socks if you want. There you go. There's my socks. Okay, I'm going to stop now. I'm just excited to go and run. <laughs> I can move whatever you want. You want. I don't mind. 
had to mind all, honestly. So I'll take mine off, yeah. Take yours, because mine's not fully charged. Ready to go. These are my shoes. I'm a sportiva. I can't remember what they are, but I got them for like $130 in the sale, so all is good. <laughs> Let's go. And we're off. Um, we actually really love Tasmania. We've been here for the past six weeks now, and we're moving to the Gold Coast on the weekend, but we've had the best time. And it's just so cool how you can like, 20 minutes in one direction, we're literally at the foot of a mountain, 20 minutes in the other direction. We're in the city and the sea's nearby. It's just so pretty, like. We're running down the rivulet, which is just here. And there's platypus that live in there. We were on a walk the other day and there was one that was just playing around and diving, trying to get some snacks. But it's really cool. And I'd never seen one before, before being in Tasmania actually. They're really cool. That's where the platypus live. Apparently, a guy saw four of them just playing the other day. We've only ever seen a maximum of one, but it's just so cool. I know, my heart rate is also already 171, and I'm seven minutes in. I'm just not made for running. I'm just a slow running girly. <laughs> oh, okay, we're on the way up. <sighs> yeah, girls cannot run the hills. It's just, it's, I find being out in the hills really hard, but it's just so beautiful. And I don't care how slow I go or what people think, get out and do it because you'll enjoy it and you'll feel so much better at the end of the day. I don't know if you can see him on the camera, but there's, is it a little paddy melon? Or is it a wallaby? It's quite big for a paddy melon. Little guy, hi. She's watching us. Be good, we'll carry on. See you later. I said earlier that Jack had already done this run and when he was doing the race, I was sat in like the event village and I could watch him on live tracker. And I think he was about a kilometre in when I first looked and his heart rate was like, 185 and I was like oh what the hell why is his heart rate so high so quick and now I get why oh hello hey little paddy when we're not even two and a half kilometers in and it's just all being uphill and it's not complaining I love being out Oh God, it's so pretty though. You can't see it from where I am, but you can see the sea down there as well. The trees are in the way. There's paddy melons and wallabies everywhere over here. Just came round a corner and was like, what? How is it still so hilly? And I swear, the birds started laughing at us. Can you hear them? That massive hill that we just climbed up was the rock hill. Um, but we think we can connect back to where we need to be. Garmin said that we're off course, but it didn't beep at us. 
apparently we were meant to take a left turn as we were going up to a different hill um, but we think if we just follow this round we'll be able to connect up to it so I hope so because I'm not walking down there and then up a big one again thinks we've gone the wrong way again. He's just running ahead. He can't see him anymore. He thinks we should have gone down here somewhere. So he's coming back. Let's see. Yeah, no? I think so. Wrong way. It's just an off path. Has it? Okay. Back this way we go. We went down the tip top track. And we should have gone down the Jurassic Shark track. We've come back to it and we don't know whether we can. So it says change conditions, but it just says please travel with care, shared use. I'm assuming we can. It'll be alright. Yeah. It doesn't say don't go down it, it just says that the thermal works. Yeah? Yeah. This is a cool one to run on though because it's a bike track. Oh. Yeah, it feels like a race track. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, they are really doing it all. Oh. It's like running on the beach. Just go around this thing. Oh, look at this. Oh. Keep up for you. <laughs> I've got no chance. I'm then gonna try because I will actually fall and break my ankle. Oh, it's such an even ground. We've also um so we're on the Cascade Brewery track, which leads back down to the brewery. So we've decided we're gonna go for a drink and a bowl of chips afterwards. Why not? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> buildings we've almost finished <sighs> okay we're off the trails <sighs> sorry noises um that was really fun we're like at the brewery now so we're just gonna walk down have a little cool down walking and then go and get something to drink and eat but it was really fun 
Hey, it's a really good run. We realized it was only quarter past 12 and we were like, it's probably too early for a drink. So I got a lemonade and a mini beer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so total run um, time was 1 hour 37 minutes, um, it was 9.5 kilometres with a pace of 10.27, which I think to be fair is pretty good considering I, it's like my second trail run in ages. Um, anyway, stop talking about that, we're not worried about pace. It was fun, I spent 10% of my time in my max heart rate and an hour 15 in my, what's the second to max heart rate called? Hmm? What's the second to max heart rate called? It's threshold. threshold, yeah. I just dropped the fork on the floor. <laughs> okay, we're going to eat. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming in our room with us. And I'll see you next time. Okay, just one more thing that I want to say. <laughs> Listen to the crunch on these greens. <laughs> That's everything. Goodbye.